Hi guys, Tech James here. So I'm really excited to announce that the PSP's Nintendo 64 emulator, known as I'm pretty sure it's called Dejulous or something like that, I can't even pronounce the name, um, but it's actually had a really good update. Um, it, the gameplay is so much smoother. The sound is now working with minimal glitching. Um, there is a few sound glitches, but the sound is actually working really well. And um, yeah, now it's on version 1.1.1. Uh, this project was actually um, edited probably about eight days ago now, so it's very new considering it's a PSP app. Um, I'm actually surprised any new PSP stuff is coming out, this is crazy. Um, so yeah, shout out to the guy that made it. I can't remember his name exactly, but I will be showing you guys it because it, I will be showing you guys how to download it from his GitHub page. So if you guys are interested, make sure you go and connect your PSP to your PC using USB connection, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're on your PC, I will leave a link to the emulator in the description. Um, shout out to this guy, Z2442. He is the one behind the development of this. And as you can see, it was only released eight days ago. So considering this is a PSP emulator, this is pretty much brand new. I can't believe this thing even came out. But it says the size of the emulator right here. So as you can see, it's quite small, 2.39 megabytes. So all you guys want to do is just click the RAR file and it will begin downloading. So once it's finished downloading, just head over to your PC's downloads folder and all you will need, you will need a game of your choice. You can get as many games as you want and they will need to be in the Z64 um, format or the .n64 format. So once you've got a ROM, all you want to do is extract the software here. So just right click it and then select extract here. Then you want to just put your ROM inside of the folder and then it just drag the ROM inside of the ROMs folder, just like that. Now all you want to do guys is just copy this folder into your PSP's game folder. So it won't take too long to copy across. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys the gameplay and the sound because the sound is so much better than it was before. It's not all glitchy and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm um, really excited for this emulator, um, it's really good. So now I'm just going to head over to my PSP, show you guys how to launch the emulator, how to launch your ROMs, and the awesome improvements. Right guys, so once you're back on your PSP, all you want to do is scroll over to the game section, and from here, you can find the Nintendo 64 emulator. So keep in mind, you will need custom firmware to run this. Um, if you press triangle on it and go to the information, you can actually see, um, you know, the um, name of it as well so it's the that's the guy that made it there you go Z2442 update so let's go ahead and press X to launch into the game so right now it says no preview available maybe that will be fixed in a, another version as well but your ROMs will display at the side here so to launch them up all you do is simply press X um, but before you start the game, you might want to configure some stuff. If you go into Edit Preferences, what you want to do is you want to turn the sound on. So normally it's disabled because, as we all know, the sound on the earlier version of this emulator was just bad. You, you couldn't play with the sound. It just sounded terrible. So I'm going to put it on Synchronous. You guys can put it on both. It doesn't really make a difference. Then you can just select Save and Return. Now you can just go down to start emulation and obviously it has everything else that the emulator had like cheats, advanced options, all of that kind of stuff. So let's just save and return out of this. Let's just do start emulation. Now it's just going to load up, just give it a few minutes to load. So I'm just going to mute the sound here because Nintendo um, seems to have a habit of copywriting every single audio that they make. But anyway, as you can see, it's looking a lot smoother than the previous version. Maybe I'll make a video where I compare ver both versions, that might be quite cool. But anyway, let's just press the start button. Now let's just select a new game quickly. And I will be playing the sound for you, I'll just wait to a point where I think I can play it without getting a strike. So let's just... But as you can see, the gameplay is a lot smoother, and there's no sort of graphical errors either. I'll just let you guys watch the intro.
Right, so we're in the game now, and the gameplay is so much smoother. Uh, just look how nice it runs. This isn't sped up or anything like that. Um, now I'm probably going to go ahead and just turn the sound up a bit. So hopefully, guys, you can hear that. You can hear all the birds and stuff. So let me just show you how much better the sound sounds. So when you used to jump, um, it used to kind of make that glitchy sort of stuttering sound. But now let me show you what it sounds like. So as you can see, maybe the sound glitches a few times. Um, I'm probably going to have to turn this theme tune down. But the theme tune and the background music and the jumping sounds all a hundred times better than the previous emulator. Um, apparently this works even better on the PSP um, 3000, which I don't actually have. Um, I might test this out on my PSP Go. I might make a video where I test out several games, um, you know, the harder Nintendo 64 games to run. But anyway, I'm really impressed, so shout out to the guy that made it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.